I'm Franz and welcome to Concrete CMS. Our mission is to build a web for the greatest good and we want it to be really easy for you to share your message online. This is a default theme for Concrete and if we navigate around you'll see there's kind of the standard pages you would expect in a services marketing site. Um, if I want to change something, I have to log in first. So many themes will have a login link down in the footer. You can also always just put uh, your site domain slash login, and that will take you to this login page. Put your credentials in here, and it'll log you in. Now, because I'm an admin, we have gone to our dashboard welcome page. But we don't really need to be here. There's not that much that needs to happen on this page. Let's just go back to our website. Great. Here we are at the home page, and you can see there is now an editing toolbar across the top of the page. So any page that I have permissions to manage something on, I will see this toolbar. And if I want to change something, all I have to do is pop the page in edit mode by clicking this pencil. And now as I roll over things, you'll see they highlight. They might highlight green, they might highlight blue. Um, at its simplest, I can drag these blocks of content and functionality around. Um, there are different areas on the page and you can put blocks into them. So you can see when I roll over this guy, uh, there's a little tab here that says column one. That is the area. And this green outline on the block is the block. Blocks go in areas. If I want to edit the block, I just click it, hit edit block. And then I get an interface custom for this block type that lets me change stuff. So this is the feature block and I can choose a icon um, I can change this messaging around. I could make it link somewhere. Um, you can see Concrete manages your whole site with a tree. So we'll make it link to services. And if you save your changes, um, you can see we updated that. Uh, we've also moved this block around. Let's say that's all we wanted to do. We want to save this and make it live. You just go back to the pencil icon, click it. You can publish these changes now you can click this little clock and publish them in the future. You could save them, so you as an admin can see them, other admins can see them, but the general public will still see the last version, or you can throw your changes away. Let's make a quick version comment. Move stuff around. And we'll publish those changes. And now you can see this paragraph's here, we change that icon, we're done. It's that easy to change content on a concrete site. Uh, if we don't like what we did, we can click the gear icon. That takes you to all of the settings for this page. Um, so here you can see we've got common attributes that are used on the page, like the name and description. Um, we've got uh, the permissions for the page. You can see what the page will look like in different mobile breakpoints, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, what we want to do is quickly look at versions and you can see every version of this page that we made is stored. We keep track of who made the change. Here's the comment I just made. Um, if I want to view a couple of pages, I can view them together. I can even see um, what has changed on there. Like we, we changed some content there. Um, I can tab between these guys. So if I did not like the changes I made, I can simply go back to the older version, approve that, and then I will delete this newer version and click the gear icon again to get out of there. And when I hit reload, you'll see this page is back to looking weird. So it's really that easy. You can move things around, you can change text. If you don't like it, don't worry. You can go back in time. Uh, there's very few things that happen outside of versioning. And when they do, we let you know. So don't feel afraid of your website. You should feel empowered to use your website the same way you would use a word processor. So let's add some blocks. Uh, I've shown you putting the page in edit mode and I've shown you the settings uh, gear icon. There's also this plus. Um, all this stuff over here on the left are things that you can do to this page that you are on. When I click the plus, I get the add panel. Uh, you can add new blocks to the page. Here are all the blocks that ship with our core. And you can see that for an open source product, we actually have a, quite a few things in the core. There's 
calendars and comments and um, a bunch of different social blocks. There's a fair amount that you can you can use to build most sites without using anything else. But there is a marketplace. So if you're looking for something else, uh, you can find that from our marketplace. Um, let's just add a content block. You can see I can drag this around, put it anywhere I want, put it right above here. Um, I had some content right there and we'll click OK and it is just that easy. Um, you have added content to the page. Again, we want to save this. We're going to click the pencil. We're going to publish our changes and there you go. OK, so I've shown you how to uh, manipulate a page that already exists, but how do you add a new page to your site? Well, if you come over to the right side of your toolbar, there are some site-wide navigation stuff that happens here. Um, so you can always get to help. This question mark is useful. Uh, it knows where you are, so it will change content on, on different parts of the site. Uh, this pages icon is how you can quickly navigate your site and add new content. So with Concrete, we manage your whole site in a tree. Um, pages can have pages underneath them, just like your file system. So here's your blog, here's a bunch of blog posts. Um, pretty simple. So if I want to jump to a different page, maybe here I am on contact us, this is an easy way to get around your site. Um, let's add a new page. You can see there's a few choices up here. So these are page types and you can define page types in the dashboard without touching any code and we'll get into that in another video. But let's just do something really simple. We'll just add a basic page. So you can see we've loaded a basic page here um, there are some empty block areas and an empty content block. So I can start typing in here and I've got a basic page going. I can, let's add a image. Let's put a hero image up here in the header area. Ba -ba -ba. You can see we're using the file manager. So Concrete keeps track of all of the assets that you use on the front end of your site in a file manager. And, um, we're looking at that. These files are permissioned and versioned and um, can do all sorts of cool stuff. We'll get into the file manager in another video as well. Um, but here we go. We're making this page and let's go ahead and say we want to actually chop this area up and have a couple of columns. So we'll come down to this main tab that is showing you the block area. And you can see hiding here is add layout. So the simplest way to chop an area is to use layouts. And I can see as I increment this, I get little handles here. And as I drag those around, they snap. So this is using the Bootstrap 5 grid system and it's snapping so they're always consistent and you'll have more alignment in your design. So now that I've added that layout, I can drag this content in there. And uh, maybe I want to add a sidebar or something here. I can, I can start to do different stuff. Um, let's go back to that blocks interface. From this plus icon, we've already added a empty block and put some content in it. Um, you can see if you click blocks, there's actually some other choices here. So your clipboard is blocks that you've saved in the past. So um, if I were to come to this block, copy it to a clipboard, Come back to the plus, now it's there. And now I've got two copies of this block. That's really handy if you're building out your site um, and you're like, I gotta move this here and move that there. Or I wanna keep moving, uh, putting the same type of thing there. Clipboard can save you a lot of time. Stacks are also a great way to save a lot of time. If you really find yourself consistently putting the same thing on every page, um, it's worth adding it as a stack. Stacks are just a centralized collection of blocks. You can edit them in the dashboard, and we'll show you that in another video. Uh, but you can see when I put this here, I actually get a few blocks. I'm getting a topics list, a couple of titles, a uh, nav that orders things by date. Um, so you can deal with a set of blocks as if they were one, and that is a stack. Also from the add blocks interface is containers. So containers are a lot like layouts but they give you a little bit stronger formatting. So instead of just letting me add as many columns as I want and kind of drag them around willy nilly, uh, these are defined as part of your theme. So you have to be a theme developer to create them. 
and when you put them in the page they come with a bit more structured layout um, so you know this is a, a box of six with some unique padding between them um, or I might add this guy here and there's a title block that doesn't go the full width and a body that does so depending on the theme that you're using you might find more containers and these give you kind of stylized atomic design elements that you can reuse throughout your site so now that we've got this page looking great I guess uh, let's go ahead and see what it takes to make it live so we uh, go back to the pencil icon you click that and you can see it's telling us you, you haven't really given us all the information that you need to publish this we don't know where it goes and you haven't really given it a name so it links over to the compose interface which you can also get to from the gear icon and we give this a name um, best name uh, this description is used for SEO and um, it's passed to search engines as that paragraph underneath the, the page name and link. Um, and we have to choose a page location. So here we are again at our site tree. And we're basically saying, where does this page live? And we're going to make it live right off of the home. And now we can go ahead and publish. And you can see we're not in edit mode. We can still see this page. And in fact, the main nav has been updated to include this page that we're at. As I click around the site, I can always get back to this new page that we added because Concrete knows your whole site's a tree and it knows where to find things. Um, that is the basics of how to change stuff around in Concrete. The last stuff I'll show you really quickly is your dashboard. So that is the last icon here. And there are a few things here. The sitemap, uh, this is a standalone version of the sitemap that you already saw in the add pages interface. You can do convenient stuff there like, hey, we really wanted that test page to be underneath about. So I'll just drag and drop it around and I can either move it or copy it. I'm going to move it and now it won't be in that main nav. Um, you can get to most of the tools from that gear icon right from here. So if you want to make a bunch of changes quickly, using the sitemap is really helpful. You can also search. There's different views for the sitemap here. Um, if you're running multi-site, you can load two sites up next to each other and move stuff around. Really powerful place and um, will become part of your life in the big picture. Uh, we mentioned there's a file manager. So these are, you're not going to get access to the templates and uh, code behind your site, but any of the assets used within your site are in here. Um, and for each individual file that can sit in folders, you'll see there is summary information and um, where it is used and a bunch of stuff here uh, that is super handy. Um, there is even a basic image editor built in. So if you want to crop something or change sizing, you can do that right here. Uh, some other things to note from the dashboard, there's a powerful members interface. So if you're going to build an online community, Concrete's a great tool to do that. There's users and groups and permissions, and that gets uh, really complicated. Uh, again, we'll have a different video. Um, I'm not going to go through each one of these. You can see there's an awful lot under the hood. So if you're looking to build uh, applications with data objects, check out Express. Boards lets you do cool stuff with news. Reporting is um, everything that your site is doing and how to quickly get to it. Pages and themes let you uh, design those page types and set up defaults. So every time you add a new page, it feels the same way. Uh, conversations and calendar events are things that we've included in the core because we just want them done in a consistent way. And you'll find that Concrete does that a lot, where other platforms may ask you to go understand a complex ecosystem of third-party tools that you need to keep up to date. At Concrete, we try to fold basic functionality into the core. So if lots of developers are going to want to rely on a date-time model that makes sense, that belongs in the core of the CMS. Uh, and then the extensions in our marketplace can be more front-end and, you know, hey, extended the calendar model to... Uh, to sell tickets for events and that kind of thing. Uh, stacks and blocks, we talked about that briefly. Here's the blog sidebar and the blocks that are stacked up there and you can add blocks here and they'll just show up on all the pages that you've added that stack. Um, we're not gonna get into system setting in this video. There's a lot more going on here. You can always find um, stuff quickly from the dashboard by just typing in intelligent search. Um, so, you know, clearing cache is something that you often will have to do if you're making big changes. Concrete tries to cache a lot of stuff. And so instead of trying to find clear cache in the dashboard, I'll just go up to intelligent search and start typing cache and it'll get me here. And that's the page I was looking for. 
So that is concrete in a nutshell. Uh, there's a lot more videos that you can get into. There's also a very active forums at forums.concretecms.org. Uh, and if you're hosting with us, we're always happy to point you in the right direction as well. Just open a ticket and we will try to find you an answer. Thanks so much for looking at concrete for your web publishing needs.